Greetings, everybody. Welcome to your video series on an introduction to sociology. The topic for this video is collective behavior. Let's get started. So what do we mean by collective behavior? Collective behavior is what happens to us when we are in a group or a large group of people, how that energy between individuals impacts our behavior and what happens to us, how our individual behavior changes as we begin to interact and take on the energy of the other people around us. Taylor Swift, whether you like her or not, is a good example of, of collective behavior. On her recent Eras tour, she received an eight-minute ovation in Los Angeles after playing a particular song. That eight-minute ovation is a good example of what we're talking about when it comes to collective behavior. One person watching her probably would not have stood and clapped for eight minutes. But when you get 70 plus thousand people together, that energy takes on a life of its own. Hence the eight minute standing ovation. We also have other examples of collective behavior like what happened on January 6, 2021. Um, again, this energy that happens when people come together for a specific event and that energy is greater than the individual themselves and people start behaving in ways that they might not normally behave because they're wrapped up in what's going on with all the other people around them. Other examples of collective behavior can be things such a simple thing like waiting for the subway uh, if you're in a major metropolitan area, standing in line waiting for the latest uh, Apple phone is an example of collective behavior. So the definition of collective behavior, we're going to define this as non-institutionalized activity in which people voluntarily engage. So it's not something that happens in a specific institution, for example. It can happen anywhere, and it's just what happens when all of these people come together and how their behavior changes and takes on a life of its own. There are four types of collective behavior we're going to look at. The first is conventional, which is people coming together for a scheduled event, the, like a Taylor Swift concert, for example, or the release of the latest Apple product. Number two is casual collective behavior where people just happen to be at the same place and the same time, but they're not necessarily interacting with each other. And we'll look at specific examples of each of these. The third type is expressive collective behavior. This is when people come together publicly to join in an expression of emotion. This is generally either something that's very, very happy and exciting or can be very, very sad and emotional. And the fourth and last type is acting collective behavior where people join together for a specific goal or action. They, they're, they're gathering, they're coming together for a specific purpose. They wanna achieve a goal. Now, let's look at some examples of these four types of collective behavior. If we think about people demonstrating for immigration rights, for example, uh, the DACA uh, demonstrations, the Dreamer demonstrations, do you think this is an example of conventional, casual, expressive, or acting? Well, if you said acting, you are correct. They are coming together for a specific purpose to advocate, advocate for immigrant rights. It could also perhaps be expressive. There's a lot of emotion around this issue. So acting and emotional for sure. If we think about New York City on New Year's Eve every year when the famous ball drops, 
Again, conventional, casual, expressive, or acting. And if you said conventional, you are correct. This is a scheduled, purposeful event where people are coming together. Again, we may also put expressive in there. There's a lot of emotion that goes when the clock strikes 12. But in general, this is conventional. And if we think about uh, what happened locally here with the El Paso mass shooting at the Walmart a few years ago, when people began to come together as a result of that shooting, uh, was this conventional, casual, expressive, or acting? A very uh, obvious example here of an expressive collective behavior, people coming together for the purpose of expressing their grief, sorrow, and anger at what happened in El Paso. And then lastly, if we think about just going over here to the uh, local mall, uh, this is uh, conventional, casual, expressive, or acting. And if you said casual, you are correct. This is just people happen to be together at the same place at the same time, but they're not having any kind of shared purpose or expression of emotion. Uh, they just happen to be in the same place place at the same time. And that is what we mean by collective behavior. So that's going to do it for now. Thanks for checking in. Never stop learning. And remember, sociology is everywhere.